the topic which we're going to discuss as a new chapter is measures of dispersion. So what is measure of dispersion is how we're going to introduce the concept. Now in statistics we have seen the measures of central tendency that is the measures of central tendency being mean, median and mode which are called the measures of central tendency that is these three factors of statistics that is mean median and mode describe the central tendency or the behavior of the data so it gives us on how we can observe the center of the data out of all the given data points so that was discussed in the previous session of the data points now coming to the measures of central tendency sometimes what happens is if I just know the central value say for example 1 2 5 7 9 8 6 then I know that my median say for example I take the median and my median in case of these scores is 7 that means my central tendency gives me that all the data points are dependent on 7 but this is not sufficient to examine the data because the center value being 7 is the median which measures the central tendency of all the 7 data points given here but when it comes to discussing the nature of the rest of the data points this measure of central tendency alone is not sufficient so we have to even study the measure of variation that is how the data points are varying accordingly as we take in different order is how we also consider so considering the variation of the data is nothing but measure of dispersion considering the central tendency of the data is measure of central tendency and considering the variation of the data into account is nothing but the value which we find called measure of dispersion now that to measure the central tendency of the given data points we have three factors in statistics which measure the central tendency that is mean median and mode similarly the measure of dispersion also has three basic tools in statistics through which we measure the dispersion or the measure of the variation value so let's see how we can find through a live example or why we need to find the measure of dispersion through a valid live example in real life now let's see the need of considering the measure of dispersion through this life example why do we need to consider measure of dispersion into account when we do the statistical survey of the data points is the biggest question which is supported through this real life example so for example I take a problem where these are the runs scored by batsman A the first row gives runs scored by batsman A and this gives runs scored by batsman B is how we have the two different scores as given in the two different rows of this given problem so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are 10 matches international matches in which the batsman A has scored in each of the 10 matches with different scores and the batsman B in each of the 10 matches has scored 10 different set of scores now with this clearly I understand that my mean or arithmetic mean which is a measure of central tendency for runs scored by batsman A is nothing but 53 which is obtained by average sum of all the scores by total number of matches the batsman has played so mean of scores runs scored by batsman A is 53 which we get when we add and divide by 9 by 10 when we divide by 10 so in this case I get this to be this 530 by 10 on adding I get this 
to be 53. Similarly, let me also calculate the mean of scores by scored by batsman A. So interestingly, even for batsman B, it is 53. That is the mean of even the scores of the batsman B is also 53, which we get when we add up and divide by 10. Similarly, I want to calculate the median of runs scored by both batsmen A and B, which is also 53. That is the middle value which we consider in case of this. So my mean and median being 53 gives me that the measure of central tendency that 53 is the value on which the whole of the data points are centered is how we get from the measures of central tendency. That implies 53 is the measure through which all the given scores are centered. But this may not be always true because is it that this is always same when we see when we take into consider other data points that is what if i take the least of the score and the highest of the score which are totally different from the 53 which is obtained as the core middle value or the middle score now in this case my least is found to be 38 and my highest is found to be 60 or 76 so these values may not give a complete picture or a satisfied picture on the central tendency or the middle value which we have obtained. So 53 being the measure through which all the given scores are centered is not may not be a valid measure but it needs something more information for this kind of statistical survey. So my question here is Based on these two medians being same, my question here is, can we say that the per performance of two batsmen is same? Is the biggest question here, which says, can we say that the performance of two batsmen is same? No, certainly the answer is, is no. Why? Because the least of the scores which the batsman A has scored is 2 and the highest which the batsman has scored is 116. But in case of batsman B, the least of the score is 38 and the highest score which the batsman has scored is 76. So certainly the performance may not be the same because there are various scores in each of the matches which are differing for batsman A and batsman B. So the answer for my question, can we say that the performance of two batsmen is same? The answer is strictly no. So therefore, the measure of central tendency is not sufficient in measuring the statistical data. We need something else more to measure the given data points through the complete statistical survey. And that measure which we are going to defer, we are going to study is measure of dispersion or which is also called variation, measure of variation, which may give a more clear picture when we measure the dispersion or variation, we can give a more clear picture on whether the performance of batsman A or the batsman B is more or good. Therefore, variability or examining the variability along with examining the central value of the given data is equally important is how we understand through this real life example which put forth the question, can we say that the performance of the two batsmen is same? Certainly, with the measure of central tendency, we cannot predict the performance of the batsman A and batsman B through their individual scores in each of the 10 matches. This requires even variability or dispersion which needs to be considered. Hence, the topic measure of dispersion which is essential 
and statistical survey of given data points.